Welcome to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Today we're going to install umbrella seals put out by a company called Threshold. And what the umbrella seals do is they address the leaking of the shocks on the HPI Baja SS. Uh, if you've run your, your, your Baja, you'll notice that a lot of times the seals along the shaft start to leak and once they start leaking it, it gets quite messy. So Threshold has come up with a, a uh, umbrella seal that virtually eliminates any of the leaking around the shaft. And it's very simple to install. When you first open your package you're going to see that there's four seals, four plastic bushings, and two metal pieces which are an installation tool. We can take a look at the umbrella seal and it's very simply just that, an umbrella seal. You'll notice that there's rubber on the inside which is the seal and one portion has sharp edges and if we turn it around you'll see that the other side has rounded edges on it and we'll address those here in just a minute as we're putting them in. You're also going to get four plastic bushings look very much like this and they're going to replace the copper bushings that we're going to take out in just a moment. And then we also have two machined pieces which are an installation tool for the seals. Let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to take our shock. We're going to go ahead and remove the pistons off the top so that we can slide off the bottom portion here. First thing that we're going to want to do is to remove the circlip that's located in here and that's what holds the copper bushing in. And we'll see if we can do this without shooting it across the room. We just like to use a pair of pliers and grab onto the little extension portion there and go ahead and remove the circlip and then at this point we're going to go ahead and remove the copper bushing. You do want to peek down inside and make sure that your two rubber o-rings or silicon o-rings are in good shape. If they're not, replace them. And you also want to make sure that they're fully seated down inside the hole. It's kind of hard to, to look down in the hole. So now that we've got that apart, we're going to go ahead and install one of the umbrella seals. We've gone ahead and poured a little bit of shock oil into a cap here that we're going to use for some assembly lube. I'm going to go ahead and take the first portion of the tool which is with the rod on here and we're going to dip our finger in and lubricate up the shaft and we're going to take one of the umbrella seals and slide it over the shaft and we want to slide this over with the rounded portion up so the sharp edges are going to go down onto the tool like so so we have sharp edges on the bottom and then we have the rounded area on the top be careful as you push it through you don't want to catch or grab the seal and that's why we use a little bit of the lubricant. From here we're going to need to press fit the seal into the cap. We're going to take the tool and press it down through the o-rings and it goes out through the bottom just like so. This is what it's going to look like and you can press it in a little bit with your hand if you would like. Now we're going to take the second portion of the tool and slide it over the bottom and we're going to press this together in order to press the seal into the bottom of the shock cap. There are several ways that you can do this. Um, I know it's the least preferred method but I know a lot of people do have this type of a wrench at home and you can go ahead and open it up wide and go ahead and press it in this way. Um, however you can do this to keep the top and the bottom as square as possible 
is going to be your best installation. If you have a vise at home, you can go ahead and open up the jaws of the vise, put this in, make sure everything is nice and square, and then go ahead and clamp down your vise until it's fully seated. Uh, we have an arbor press in our shop and we're going to use the arbor press to get this together and it's a very handy tool to have. As you are pressing it together the tool is designed to go all the way in and it's going to stop and insert the the umbrella seal at the proper depth so you're going to want to go ahead and keep compressing this until it's fully closed. So we're going to go ahead and set it onto our arbor press here. Make sure that everything is all nice and square. See if I can get my arm out of the way here. And then very gently we're going to go ahead and squeeze it together. And as you can see now that the tool is firmly seated on the top and the bottom and generally that will press the seal into the proper depth. We're going to go ahead and remove the bottom of the tool and then very carefully I like to rotate it just gently slide out the second portion of the tool and you can see now that the seal is, is firmly seated inside. At this point we're going to go ahead and take one of the bushings and we're going to go ahead and slide it down inside push it all the way down in and if the seal is at the proper depth you're going to see that the groove that goes around the edge here where the circlip fits is at the perfect height. If in fact you need to insert it down a little bit more for any reason you can go ahead and slide the tool back in and press it down a little bit but generally you're not going to have to do that. At this point we're going to go ahead and put our circlip back in and see if I can do this again without shooting it across the room. There we go. You're always going to want to make sure you hear it click and then run your finger or you can run a screwdriver around there to make sure that in fact it's fully seated. And that really is all there is to inserting the umbrella seals from Threshold. We're going to go ahead at this point and put a little bit of uh, shock fluid on our shock shaft and lube it up. And then gently go ahead and reinsert the shaft. You want to be real careful that you don't catch any of the seals with the thread area as you're pushing it through and everything should slide nice and easily. That's all there is to it folks. Again this is the umbrella seal made by Threshold. Thanks for taking the time to view our tutorials and I'm gonna say good afternoon, good night from Team Fast Eddie and HPI Baja Tutorials.com.